Hey y'all, it's your girl Suzette with Crafting with Susie coming to you today with a new unboxing. Um, this is from Arola and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I ordered. But before I get into all of that, if this is your first time stopping by, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit the like button. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notifications of my next upload here on YouTube. I also put notification information on my Instagram page. And if you've been back to see me several times, thank you so much for your support. I love reading your words of encouragement. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, so we are going to get into this unboxing. So this is a company that is out of Canada. Um, it's a newer licensed diamond art company. And I decided to jump on the bandwagon with everyone else and order a painting um, to see what it's like. They have a really nice website. Um, it is, the language is in French. You have to change it at the top of the website to have it in English. So this is their box. Okay, Arola, okay, and this is their marketing here. Ooh, can you see the symbol? It's a really pretty box. It's in very, very, very good condition. And this is what I ordered here. And I believe, and I'm so sorry, I'm so bad. This means heart and bloom. Queer un, queer, oh gosh, queer in floor. I believe that means heart and bloom. I'm going to make sure. You guys know I'll insert it. But this is what I got. If you can see her. Um, I looked and looked a few times before I decided on purchasing and then when I saw that Bev B was doing the 10%, I went ahead and decided to get it. So I used her 10% code, which is her name. If any of you are interested, it says Bev B. It's just her name. And then you get the 10% off. And I also got free shipping. So I'll show you, they have the picture on the back and they also have the picture at the top of the box and I'll show you. Which is here. So of course, when you're putting it away, the picture is already there, which is actually really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and it didn't take long for me to get maybe like a week maybe like a week it was pretty quick not bad at all so let's see what we got y'all i'm excited wait is that everything oh no that's not everything hold up sorry so i know you guys have been seeing quite a few of these of these unboxings um a lot of people have been doing them the first one i saw was with life with Lindsay. she had an alice in wonderland um one that she unboxed and then i saw a few others i decided on this painting because i hadn't seen this one unboxed and then of course if you guys see my other videos um stephanie she um ended up getting the exact same painting for her birthday. So here is this huge sticker right here. Ain't she pretty? Can y'all see her? 
she is so pretty like her freckles on her face i'll definitely put in an image so you guys have a really clear view and then of course this is the legend here this is not perforated it doesn't peel up so you but you can cut it and you can go ahead and kit up that way and just cut the stickers that way but this is like one gigantic sticker which is really really cool okay and this is a 71 by 71 centimeter and this is definitely a round because y'all know i don't mess with the squares and then on one side it is french the other side of course is in english and it just goes over that it is uh poured glue let me see here and tells you about the diamond painting and how to diamond paint. And let me go ahead and open this. Oh yeah, it's one of those soft fat canvas things. Yes. So it's soft on the back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on, let me get all this stuff out of here. Oh, my little thing came off. Here's my tweezers. It does come with the covering. So I'll just put, and they're nice and heavy. So you don't want to toss these. These are not those cheap bendable ones. And then it comes with a pin. It's a little glittery, a multi-placer, a single placer. So that's the pin. And then inside of the kit, I have never gotten blue wax which I think is cool, but you get your bolt, you get your scrunchie for your pen, ooh, you get another multi-placer. And if you guys don't know, I typically do not multi-place. I, and that's what takes me so long to do my diamond paintings, I single place, and if it's color blocking, I just do the checkerboard method. That's how I, do mine, I don't know, I just hardly ever multi-place, but this is the blue wax. Oh, there. Oh, there's like three of them in there. So that's awesome. So I can't wait to try that out. But I'll put this away. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys have been watching Nashville. <laughs> That Raina gets on my nerves. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so let me move the drills. And I'm just gonna flip her over. She is a nice size. She's a nice size. Okay. And I hope doing this this way, having the camera at a different angle, she's like wide, like this way. Cause she's kind of hanging off my table right now. She's pretty y'all. She's so pretty. Um, and I really got her, I love fall colors. I love like the burnt orange, the golden yellows, the different shades of brown, different shades of red to like really deep burgundies. I love fall colors. So I think that's what drew me to this one. And particularly besides me wanting to get something different, um, this one has 50 colors. And the canvas is just a little wrinkle, but that's nothing. I'll just put it up underneath the mattress. I'm not even really worried about this. Hey y'all, uh, um, I just wanted to interject really quick in this part of the video, I noticed it more when I was putting my canvas away. The box just needs to be a little bit bigger. Um, the painting just fit in the box. And that's why the side of the canvas was crinkled. Because that box came in perfect. The packaging box was perfect. There was no reason to have the what is that? The wrinkles and the creases on the side. The The actual painting area is perfect, but the crinkling, of course, will come out laying it underneath something heavy and letting it rest. 
But if the box was just a little bit bigger, you wouldn't have any of that, you know, going on. So I just wanted to say that. Bye. Oh my gosh, who is this? Oh, is this Lori Phil Philippon? Philippon? I don't want to be saying the name wrong, but I'll show it to you. It does have the scalloped edges. So I'll show you what I mean by that. The cutting is scalloped. I don't see any fraying. Just a, um, a little bit of the wrinkling, um, not in the painting here, but just on the outside, just the outside of it, which is fine. There's two schematics. There is one that will be in the top left-hand corner, and then there's one in the bottom right-hand corner. I do not see um, a thumbnail on here, which is fine with me also. There is their branding, their name at the top. And at the very bottom, there is the artist's name, the size of the painting. And then it has their, also their marketing down at the bottom. But as I said, it's 50 colors. I'm gonna take a quick look at the symbols on the schematic. The symbols here look really clear to me. And like in the dark areas, so it's a dark area background, but the letter is white, which is nice. I'm just gonna see if I see anything that kind of looks the same that may be confusing, because these are some weird symbols. <laughs> They're a little weird, but. So it's letters, numbers, and symbols. I don't see anything that looks like it would be the same, but I just wanna show you really quickly the symbols in the painting so you guys can see they are clear. I'll show you her face. And I'll make sure you guys get a really good view of that. But they are clear. I did have concerns about the freckles in her face and the what color that would be and how it would show up so hopefully those will be okay because she does have freckles in her face um i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the drills but before i do that i'm just gonna check the stickiness i've never really had an issue with stickiness oh wait a minute It's sticky, but I'm used to stuff being like where I can barely even get my hands off of it. But it's sticky. It's sticky. Y'all know I'm transparent. <laughs> I don't know what other way to be. Hold on. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I need that mug to be sticky where I can barely get my hands off of it. Okay. So that means your drill shouldn't be popping. You got a good stick, your drill should not be popping. Okay, so she's so pretty. Her hair is pretty, like her braid comes all the way down here. She's very pretty. I'm gonna turn it. Let me see if you guys can get a better, yes, a better view. Look at her. And like her hair goes all the way down to the bottom of the painting. So I think that's really, really cute. And there's a couple butterflies that are surrounding her. Her eyes are absolutely gorgeous. I like the highlight in her lips. She's pretty. I mean, she's a nice size. It's honestly, I would say it's kind of big. I know y'all be doing them gigantic ones, but this is kind of big. And 50 colors, that's quite a few colors. So I'm gonna just flip her over. Forgive the dust. I'm sure it was from the shipping and all of that, uh, which is fine. Just roll it off or pick it off. I'm not mad. Um, ooh, yeah. 
there's some ABs in here and there's, oh my gosh, there's one, two, three, four. They lift their, they list their ABs at the bottom. So they have the number and then after that it says AB. So there's like four. I'm all excited. <laughs> So I'm going to show you. I, I only see the one. They are in Ziploc bags. You see all those pretty colors? Those pinks and yellows and the different shades of the reds. I just love that. There's a whole lot of white. Woo! Pray for me. But um, I usually don't work out of bags. I always like to kit up. I don't like to kit down. Uh, but I like to um, hit up my dining pans. Some people don't like it. So you guys know I'm going to um, speed this part up. I'll set the ABs. Oh, they're together. Are they together? One, two, three. I see three. Oh, yeah, they're all together. Well, I might as well show y'all right now then. So this is not a white. I would say this is like an eggshell or a cream. Listen to me, eggshell. Um, can y'all see that? Oh yeah, I think you guys can. I think you can. So it's that one. This is pretty canary yellow. There's that one. And then here's this nice, it's not exactly red, but here's this one here. It's pretty. I hope you guys can see this. It frustrates me when it doesn't really, to me, look like you can see it, but I hope you can. <laughs> and then this super baby pink. Yes. There's a couple of imposters. Somebody calls them imposters. So there's a couple of imposters in there. But this baby pink. So I'll show you guys those first. And then I'm just going to go ahead and go through the drills. And you guys know I'll speed this up for you. Okay, guys, so really quickly about the bags. It looks like there is the DMC and also the bag number on here. Did I say that right? I don't think I said that right. <laughs> it's the DMC and then it'll let you know what uh, number it is on the schematic. I hope I'm saying that right. Sometimes I, I know what I want to say in my head and then it just comes out wrong. So, for example, this says 49. So, it'll be 49 on the schematic. But then the DMC, if you see there, says, ooh, ooh, says 605 AB. If y'all can read that, it says 605 AB. So, it does have both on there, which is nice. So I'm just going to look really quickly 
to see where these go. And I'm going to tell you, there was a lot of pink, just different shades. There was a lot of pink. I kind of was a little surprised with that. I thought it would have been more like uh, more yellow, but it was a lot of pink. So 49 is F, which is this one here. Oh yeah, it's all in the butterfly wings. It's in here. So it's a lot of sparkle. Looks like it's all in the top. So that's where the F will be. And there's quite a few of those. 48 is like a squiggly line. <laughs> 48 is like a squiggly line. Let's see where that one would be. Okay, in here, see this looks more orange to me, but it's this one. So it'll be all in the highlights of the flower. And then 47 is like a greater than, less than sign. And that's also highlighting the flower. It's, and I don't, it's only a little bit of those. So I mostly see it over here where you see the dark yellow. So it'll be here and here. And then 50, which is a T, these are pretty, which is a T. A lowercase t, let me see. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. It's not them, it's me. It's my eyes. It's my eyes. Um, I don't see it. But it's a t. Come on. Help me out. Where could it be? It's only a little bit. And I think that's a, another reason for it. It's only a little bit of them. It's not in her eyes, it's not in her lips. It's a lowercase t. All right, if my eyes end up hitting it before I finish this video, I'll get excited and I'll point it out. But right now, I'm not seeing it, you all, sorry. But I'm sure it's on here somewhere. But it's so few of them, you know it's probably just a couple of little areas. It seems like it's more of these two colors that they have. But all in all, um, I am happy with it. Uh, the box came in good condition, but the painting here just was a little crinkly, but it's not on, I'm, it was not actually on the actual painting. It was off where the schematic is. So I'm okay with that. Oh, there is a thumbnail. It's way at the top on the right in the corner so there is actually a thumbnail um but you guys let me know what you think do you think she's pretty i do i think her eyes are gorgeous the hair i think she's really really nice i wish i could find the tea but i can't <laughs> but i can't sorry so I don't know when I'm gonna do this one. I really don't. I have a goal set for myself, but I don't know when I'm going to get to this one. I, it's, it's probably not gonna be until next year after the, um, the Alice in Winter Wonderland event. It'll be, but I plan on doing this next year, definitely. It's not gonna just sit in my closet in the box and then I not touch it because this one is awesome and I would love to hang it up in my room. But the name of the business is Arola. They're in Canada. It took me about a week to get. Use Bed Beast discount. You get 10% off. It's free shipping. They have um, all different types of paintings. They have, and I know some people have talked about the pricing and all of that. I think I paid 60 or maybe 62 at the very most for this one. Literally, that's what you're paying for a diamond art club. I mean, let's just keep it real. Especially at this size, and I got four ABs. I mean, and I got it in a week. You, you're paying for all of that. But you do you. 
They do have paintings on there that are less than this. Um, the size is not going to be as, as large. And the size it, you see is the size you get. If I'm not mistaken, unless something's changed that I don't know about, the size you see is the size you get. You know how you can, it's like, Diamond Art Club is like that. So it's none of this, you know, you could choose different sizes. No. I know like you can do that on DIY Moonshot. No, this is more like um, Diamond Art Club. What they're selling is what you get, is what you're getting. So... I just wanted to participate because I wanted to see how their diamond paintings were. I wanted to see how they looked. I love the fact that it is a softer canvas. That doesn't bother me at all um, and that it is scalloped. But I'm just going to put it underneath the mattress and let it sit there for a little bit and then hang it up in my closet. Alrighty, guys, I held y'all long enough. I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to stay beautiful and stay blessed. Bye.